Steve. Kim, it was uh, his voice cracking at times, although at times he sounded like an orator as he gave his exit speech before the city council and thanked his supporters. He told them that he admitted making a lot of mistakes and he apologized for it. I have a lot of supporters out there. Uh, I apologize. I apologize to all of you. I think I let you down. We have had we had a chance to do a uh, progressive vision in this city for the first time in 50 years. As I'll say later, we need you to carry that vision forward. This is not the time to let it die. But uh, I apologize to all of you. Now many of those people stood to applaud him and gave him a standing ovation as he closed. He also said that it was a lynch mob mentality that forced his resignation. Now the most emotional time of the speech came when he gave a direct apology to his ex-fiancee who decided to call it quits as this uh, turmoil began to unfold. I would like to say especially to uh, my former fiancee Bronwyn, uh, I love you very much. Uh, you came to love San Diego as, uh, as much as I did. And you did memorable things in the short time that you were First Lady. And I personally apologize for the hurt that I have caused you, Bronwyn. He called this the toughest decision of his life, and he said, though, that if it went to court, he would be vindicated. He never sexually assaulted anyone. With me is uh, one of the members of the recall uh, group that was going on here. John Cox, you're the financial uh, chief of this. Where do we go with the recall at this point? There is a signed resignation in hand. The recall was responsible. Let's, let's face it, uh, he would not have resigned without the recall. And I think when the smoke clears, I think the people of San Diego can look at this experience and say that we got to reform the system. Uh, campaign funders don't care if they're puppets have a character or a morals or a conscience. As a matter of fact, they'd rather they didn't have a conscience because that gets in the way of their deals. What I think the people of San Diego take from this is that they forced the hand of a public official to leave and that they can do some more reform and I'm definitely in this for more reform. And you have about 25 or maybe 30,000 signatures and that's the end of it? That's about it. That's about it. And we have a little bit of money left. And, and, and again, what we have is a whole lot of volunteers who got involved because we had to remove a wayward official from office. What we need to do is now reform this system so that special interest money doesn't elect more Bob Filners. Thank you, John Cox, with the recall committee. Again, that is now ended. Uh, at the end of this, uh, Filner read a list of his accomplishments, talking about, number one, uh, foot traffic now in Balboa Park, no more cars. He uh, finished quoting Senator Ted Kennedy in his uh, concession speech in 1980, uh, telling how he is uh, never going to quit. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.